Hey guys, Gretchen's Bakery here. Today I want to share with you my recipe for white chocolate cake. But not just white chocolate cake, it's going to be filled with fresh strawberry compote, iced with white chocolate strawberry buttercream, and then decorated with white chocolate dipped strawberries and edible gold leaf. This is one show-stopping cake, so let's get started right away with the recipes. You're going to need cake flour, vegan butter, baking powder, salt, and energy egg replacer, melted vegan white chocolate, vanilla extract, granulated sugar, and soy milk, or any milk alternative that you prefer. It's a really simple mix method, so just get the flour, baking powder, energy egg replacer, and salt into the mixer and give it a spin. You're going to add the softened vegan butter and then just let it mix until it's all incorporated and it's going to look a bit mealy. A lot of people actually get nervous with this mix method because they're thinking that the gluten will develop it into a tough cake. This is not true, however, because that butter is actually coating the flour prohibiting the excess formation of gluten. So not to worry, this is going to be one tender cake. Next, add the vanilla extract and then start adding in the soy milk slowly while mixing it until it's all incorporated. Now you're going to think, oh my god, what is happening? Am I making a loaf of bread? But trust me, it gets better. Once all that milk is in, you're going to increase the speed to medium and beat it for about one minute. Last goes the melted chocolate, a quick spin, and then divide it up into your greased and parchment lined pans. I am in the habit lately of making three layer seven inch cakes, but if you only have eight inch pans, you can use those just the same. Get those cakes into a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven, and now let's make the fresh strawberry filling. It's nothing more than fresh strawberries cooked down to a compote consistency. I didn't even add any sugar today, but of course you can. It all depends on how sweet your berries are. And I'm just cooking it at a low boil for about 10 to 15 minutes to thicken it and break down the berries. Then I'm going to transfer it to a bowl, but first I'm straining just about a half a cup of the puree to go into my buttercream for later. Whenever I'm using fresh compotes for my cake fillings, I do like to add some fresh chopped strawberries as well, and a hefty dose of Grand Marnier. This is optional if you don't like alcohol in your baking, but I love this flavor with strawberries so much. This is my aquafaba Swiss meringue buttercream recipe that I've prepared ahead of time. So I'm just adding more melted white chocolate to the buttercream, and oh yeah, more Grand Marnier too. Then the cooled strawberry puree. This buttercream is so silky smooth, you guys. I just know you're going to love it. It's not too sweet. It's just perfect for a cake like this one. Well, now we can get to the good part. Let's build this masterpiece like a boss. So there you go, white chocolate strawberry cake, moist layers stuffed with fresh strawberry compo and white chocolate strawberry buttercream. I know you're going to want to make this, so head on over to Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com to grab it all in printable format. And while you're there, click some ads. Help me, I'm poor. It's how I get paid to make more awesome recipes for you guys. So. 
If you liked this video, don't forget to give me a like and also subscribe here to my channel if you're not already. Check me out on all my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and of course, if you can and want to help support me and Gretchen's Bakery for as little as a dollar a month, click the links below to find out how. A great big thank you as always to all my supporters on Patreon and PayPal. Without you guys, Gretchen's Bakery would be a distant memory, so thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, everyone, thanks again for checking me out and watching my video. I'll see you all again really soon. Until then, happy baking. Bye for now.